Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati and in this video, I am going to explain you about a project which I am going to launch on my portal geekcoders.co.in. I hope that you guys know about my portal where I publish paid courses on Databricks, Data Engineering and Azure Data Engineering. Right, so, uh, you know, <clears throat> many people have, have raised this question and asked me about the same question that, hey Sagar, I, we want something some project on Databricks with Unity catalog with some LLM and so. So I thought to build this project and this is a very important project. Uh, you know, like I have seen a lot of students who, who, are, who are focusing on learning this Mount Point, RDDs and you know, Cache, Persist and so. There are a lot of things available on, on Databricks nowadays. You can explore it. So the agenda of this course is to understand you the lake house monitoring, Unity catalog, LLM, hugging face models, vector search indexes, and Databricks app, and workflows and deployment. Right. So, chalo, how we can, you know, uh, what what is the architecture of the project and uh, what we are gonna build in coming days. So, as you can see over here. This is, uh, this is the architecture, right? And here, what we are gonna do is that we are, we are I mean, this you can consider this is the, this is the source, right? So here, what I did, uh, the source is only ADS Gen 2, right? So you can assume that some CSV kind of files are present over here, uh, right? Or TXT file, or maybe, or maybe some PDFs also, also can be, can be present over here, right? Now, all those csv uh, txt pdf we will be putting we will be ingesting into the branch layer what we already know you know uh, we have a mandalorian architecture right and uh, on top of that you know on top of branch layer we will be doing a uh, we will be doing a cleaning which we are that data will be putting into the silver layer right and then we have a gold layer so what we are gonna do what we we gonna build we gonna build some tables on top of silver layers and putting into the gold layer right now on top of gold layer what we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna you know uh, we we're gonna uh, create a vector search endpoint and we're gonna create a embedding i mean we're gonna use a embedding models to create a embedding on top of a tables right what is embedding embedding is a matrix you can assume right which has some numbers okay i mean i cannot explain in details in this short video but you know you can google it or maybe in in coming videos i will explain you in detail right and those embedding uh, i will be hosting into a vector uh, into a vector search i mean i will be getting a vector search index for those embedding table right and which will be hosting on the vector search endpoint now once it is done what i will be doing i will be using a llma models okay of databricks foundation models also i can use and also i can use uh, some other models also right and we can register model to unity catalog and we can create a, a model serving endpoint on top of that i can create either a databricks app uh, or uh, or it will be a simple you know a, a sql query kind of thing we can also do it now what is the goal of this and and you know all these things we will be using uh, a databricks unity catalog we will be using workflows data governance ml flow and apps okay now you might be asking the question Saga, what we are going to solve over here right so the so let let me tell you in detail or in short right basically in a company you can uh, so i am gonna take an example of healthcare company health healthcare company or in simple term you can assume it is gonna be a one hospital okay and host and it's it is very big hospital and they have around uh, lakhs of uh, uh, you know patients okay and now what they want to do they want to build some app some kind of chatbot okay so that patient can go and patient can ask their uh, queries like hey uh, what disease i am having right what type of medicine i should take or what type of uh, i mean what is my blood group Right, something, something. If someone wants to, you know, one wants to know, so uh, wants to know, I do not. I mean, I am not gonna 
assign one person to answer all these questions for like lack of for patients right so what we can do instead we can have a kind of application chat box uh, chat bot where you know someone or uh, some patient will go and you know they will type their details like patient id some you know phone number or maybe some email address something something and based on that chat bot will return uh, the answer or data this can be one scenario there can be multiple scenarios you know uh, where we have a purchase now you think about uh, we have a company uh, the a sub supply chain company we have it and we have a purchase order and as well and we have an invoice so the in the purchase order and invoice quantity and amount should match right so how we can do that we can do using sqls we can do using some writing some python script python script and so but what if if we can use here llms what if we, if if we can use here gen ai for that right we can use that you know we can use this uh, the whole architecture we can use you just have to tweak it a little bit but the same thing we can also do it right now the third the third thing what i am thinking you know what we can do is that you can assume we have a hospital right and again we have a hospital we have a healthcare company and they have a lot of hospital they have a lot of patients over there now a business user wants to know the detail of a patient currently what what they are going to do they they going to you know uh, they they going to uh, they are gonna you know search in the database search in the power bi search in the, search in the report we, we do not want to do that what we want to do is that hey if i write if i if i ask a prompt or if i ask a question to a chat, chat, chat gpt hey this is the patient this is the patient name tell me what disease he or she has and uh, and details about the patient so it will give us it it will give us all the details of the patient or or anyone right so we can build something similar to this and we will try to uh, you know do it only on databricks and we will try to also build a databricks app using streamlight flask or dash something because i have seen databricks i mean they have a lot of new features like lakehouse monitoring i have covered right data governance unity catalog how we can run the workflows using service principle how we can deploy that uh, that workflow database objects or assets from one workspace to another workspace all those things we will be talking about in this course and this course will contain around 9, nine to 10 hours so you have to you know you have to be ready for this and now we'll talk about talk about the course page so here this is the course page currently one student have taken this course and you can see uh, i have i have just you know noted down over here the uh, the the chapters and the modules i can say but eventually i will be e e eventually i will be posting the videos here also and this is the course uh, i mean this is the course uh, curriculum i i would say problem statement and architecture setting up database setting up azure portal understand data sets then what is meta store create credentials like create catalogs and blah blah things cleaning the branch data ingesting data into uh, gold layer vector search embedding models setting up model serving endpoint build stream like chatbot and then there is a deployment task also right so i hope that you understood it and you will be taking this course if you do please go and check out the link in the description box and you may get 25% discount if you are gonna enroll in next two or three days right chalo thank you bye bye i hope you will love it you will love this uh, course and you will gain a lot of knowledge building the application or building a building up you know vector search indexes and using embedding models and so thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture